two more goes like that on the approach, Lisa, and I think we can extend the boundary by one step. Yep. But I, I'm looking for two more two more approaches where there's no reaction. I'll take half a step with this point. Oh yes, all right, good idea. Half a step. Okay, so Lisa's made the observation that she feels one step's too much for him. We're going to go back to half a step. Can you tell me when you're about to take the extra half? I'll take the, the extra half, I'll go after that to use the drop. Yep. So, sort of forward, so, now I'll approach that other half step on this. So, we're going to take another half step this approach. Yep, we've just okay. done it and got. You step yeah. forward. Yeah, mm. that was. Uh, yeah, I would have taken that too yeah, because it wasn't the same head up it discomfort. Wasn't, it wasn't through tension. It's like when you sort of boot your head up to walk forward. Yeah. Because his bottom lip is so relaxed and his eyes are relaxed. So we so we took that because even though the head went up, it's more a balance issue. Lisa felt because she still had lots of other signs of relaxation of lips, eyes. His head's a bit high, but we're going to hold this boundary, and you're dead right with a half a step, Lisa. We're going to hold this boundary for three or four times until he gets a little bit more comfortable. We just got a slight head drop, which Lisa took. Got a slight head movement, but much less than before. So currently we're 4.5 feet from the threshold. In moving our boundary forward. See how much more relaxed he is when you're back at. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, head went up. What did you take then, Lisa, to move back? So what Lisa took then when she moved back and she's holding at the threshold, she's just moving forward now, so we'll watch what's happening, but he focused on us over here, but when he moved back to her, he was totally relaxed. There was no discomfort or fear, so she took that and moved back. She's now holding at the 4.5 boundary. So you've just increased to five feet from the original threshold, have you? Keep going back to your original threshold. So what I want you to do, Lisa, I want you to go back to our original established threshold when you move back. So next time when you go to the five foot mark, when you reward the relaxation, can you move right back to the original threshold? Because what we want is the horse enjoy the retreat. So we've got to make the retreat long enough so he gets true enjoyment and then we, as you're doing, holding it for 15 seconds. So Lisa's now at five feet. Now she's going right back to her original threshold and see the head drop. Okay, he's more relaxed he is. He's yeah. enjoying that retreat. That's what we want. Sting, you're doing very well. I think you could start on, on a walk forward to your five feet mark, Lisa.
Lisa's now at the five foot mark. We're probably, we how far do you all reckon where Lisa's threshold is from Sting? I'd have said 20 feet. Yeah. So as you can see with the Brumby, we've had to stay start way out. I'll just zoom out so they can actually get a, okay, and you can probably see Lisa's feet. She's just behind that black plastic. I'm wondering if you can move over more towards mm. Sandy and get Lisa moving forward. I'll have charge battery. Soon too. Okay. Hang on. I'm just moving. Yep, sorry, we just moved so we can get you in the video a bit. Let's wait there oh. until you get engagement, Lisa. So, this is my best side. Yeah, I know. He's, what are you Look at me. all doing? Okay. You get that shot? You've got an ear engagement. We interrupted He's that, didn't we? Yep, I'd start moving forward. That won't be hard to engage with you. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Lisa made the decision to reward the step towards her, even though she hadn't got to the threshold because obviously we're wanting to reward the interaction point. And even though it's tiny with a Brumby, that's a major step for this horse. Yeah, it was. Yep, that was a good snort. Yep. And this is what happens, Lisa, once he gets comfortable with the new boundaries, it gets more rapid until you, you trial a new boundary and then you go back and then it gets rapid again. So you, you're responding brilliantly. You're doing a very good job. Lisa's moving. You're still using the five foot marker, are you? Absolutely. <coughs> I think you're getting such a good one. I'd, I'd come in 5.5 .5 now. Okay. Another step. Pop fly. Keep going to your... Keep going to... That. All right. Up. Good point. Good point. Let's all, yeah, and um, we're certainly getting switch over behaviour, which is fantastic. And but is this the first time he's really approached Lisa? No, he does. When I start walking towards him, he'll walk towards me, and then I'll walk towards him, and then he'll walk towards me, and he has followed me. He did before. But he still Right, and yeah, we're working to get rid of the tension before we do anything with him. So, because every time I'd go approach to, to go forward and move a leg forward, he'd start to approach forward too. Right. Come. 